So everyone, welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. So we're focusing on Mississauga Steelhead Center and 2016 draft eligible uh, Michael McLeod, who is having a very, very, very good year in his second year in the OHL. 45 points in uh, 39 games for the big center, and you know has some great chemistry with fellow draft eligible Alex Nylander, and is looking all the part of being you know a legitimate number one big center in the NHL. He's six foot two and about 190 pounds. I think he'll fill out his frame, you know, as he goes forward. But he does everything well. I mean, I've been watching film of him all morning, and I mean, the the foot speed is amazing, particularly for a bigger guy. And his wrist shot is an absolute sight to behold. Um, you know, uses his frame to protect the puck well, and I think as he you know matures physically. I think that'll get even better. I think that'll be, you know, one of the strong suits of his game. And again, to, to look at what he's doing, you know, in his second year in the OHL, you know, really upped his productivity and is parlaying his play into, you know, potentially being a top ten pick. I mean, right now I got him ranked seventh, and um, you know, I, I kind of I went back and forth on it, but uh, he's right where he should be. And I think again, his upside is as good as you know many many of the guys ranked, you know, ahead of him. And uh, you know, I think in a league where you know having that number one center with size that plays in all situations is, you know, the key to, to being a contender. I think that'll definitely, uh, you know, help, you know, him in the eyes of, uh, you know, different organizations. And again, his highlight reels are, are, you know, he's able to, you know, stick handle through a few guys, you know, skate around guys, but he's also got the size and the brute force to go through you. And that's just not something you see all the time. And, uh, you know, to see the separation he gets, you know, with his foot speed and how he's able to, you know, create for himself and for his teammates, it's like, wow. You know, you, you really kind of sit back and just say to yourself, all right, this kid, this kid can play and do so at a high level. You know, again, I would love to see, you know, I'd love to see him in a situation where he does another year in junior after this year. But after that is given, you know, a chance to, to crack an NHL roster, I mean, I think his, his game is at that point where, you know, another year – in uh, junior hockey is all it's really going to need, you know, and then he can, you know, go from there and really be a, a guy that, you know, helps out in the, uh, at the pro level. But again, I love this kid's game. I could sit here and talk all day about, you know, just what, what I've seen him do, you know, and watch it film. It's like, wow, you know, if, if this kid is able to be, you know, the, uh, the player I think he's capable of, you're looking at a, a number one center that plays in all situations that, you know, records, you know, 65 to 85 points a year at the NHL level, and um, there's a guy that's tough to play against, and you know, is potentially you know one of the better players on a Stanley Cup contending team. But you know, we'll see how it all you know shakes up for him. I just, I, I'm I'm in awe. I really like him, and I like the chemistry him and Alex Nylander have up there in uh, in Mississauga, and uh, Sean Day too, 2016 draft eligible defenseman, one of the uh, exceptional players. Uh, you know, it's just. Uh, Pretty good uh, mix of draft eligible players up there, and, up there in Missy. Anyway, that's like an episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Mike McLeod and the Mississauga Steelheads. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.